Get ready to embark on an incredible journey into outer space. Today we'll be exploring the discoveries made by the Voyager spacecrafts, which were launched by NASA in the late 1970s. These incredible machines have traveled further than any other human-made object and have sent back fascinating data about our solar system and beyond. So sit back, relax, and let's travel through space together as we uncover the groundbreaking discoveries made by the Voyager spacecrafts. What is Voyager 2? Voyager 2 is an unmanned spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977 as part of the Voyager program. Along with its twin spacecraft Voyager 1, Voyager 2 was designed to explore the outer solar system and beyond. After completing its initial mission, which included flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, Voyager 2 continued its journey into interstellar space, becoming the second human-made object to do so after Voyager 1. The spacecraft is equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and particle detectors, which enable it to gather data on the planets it encounters and the space environment around it. The few discoveries of Voyager 2 The Moon Io Voyager 2's flyby of Jupiter and its moon Io in 1979 was a groundbreaking achievement in the history of space exploration. During the encounter, Voyager 2 discovered that Io is the most volcanically active object in the solar system, with more than 400 active volcanoes on its surface. The spacecraft's cameras captured detailed images of the volcanic plumes and lava flows, providing scientists with valuable data on the geology and chemistry of the moon. Voyager 2 also detected a tenuous atmosphere around Io, which is composed primarily of sulfur dioxide and other gases released by volcanic activity. These discoveries revolutionized our understanding of the geology and dynamics of the Jovian system and have inspired further exploration and research. Today, scientists continue to study the data gathered by Voyager 2, as well as new observations made by subsequent spacecraft, to deepen our understanding of the mysteries of our solar system and beyond. Saturn Voyager 2's encounter with Saturn in 1981 was a major milestone in the history of space exploration, and it yielded a wealth of scientific data that revolutionized our understanding of the gas giant and its moons. During its flyby, Voyager 2 made numerous discoveries, including the first detailed images of Saturn's rings, which revealed intricate structures and patterns that had never been seen before. The spacecraft also discovered several new moons, including Dione, Enceladus, Tethys, and Memis, and provided detailed information on the composition, temperature, and density of the planet's atmosphere. Voyager 2 also revealed that Saturn's magnetic field was more complex than previously thought, and provided evidence for the existence of a giant storm known as the Great White Spot. Saturn and its G-Rings One of Voyager 2's many accomplishments was its detailed study of Saturn's G-Ring, a narrow faint ring located just outside the more prominent F-Ring. In 1981, Voyager 2 flew through the G-Ring, providing the first-ever close-up views of this enigmatic feature. The spacecraft's cameras captured detailed images of the G-Ring, revealing a complex structure consisting of multiple thin strands of material. Voyager 2's data also showed that the G-Ring is constantly changing, with material clumping and dispersing over time. These observations helped scientists better understand the dynamics of Saturn's ring system, and the role that gravitational interactions with nearby moons play. The closest in approach the to Uranus occurred on January 24, 1986, when Voyager 2 came within 81,500 kilometers, 50,600 miles, of the planet's cloud tops. Voyager 2 also discovered 11 previously unknown moons Cordelia, Ophelia, Bianca, Cressida, Desdemona, Juliet, Portia, Rosalind, Belinda, Puck, and Perdita. The mission also studied the planet's unique atmosphere, caused by its axial tilt of 97.8 degrees, and examined the Uranian ring system. The length of a day on Uranus, as measured by Voyager 2, is 17 hours and 14 minutes. Uranus was shown to have a magnetic field that was misaligned with its rotational axis, unlike other planets that had visited that point, and a helix-shaped magnetic tail stretching 10 million kilometers, 6 million miles, away from the Sun. Interstellar Mission Once its planetary mission was over, Voyager 2 was described as working on an interstellar mission, which NASA is using to find out what the solar system is like beyond the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is currently transmitting scientific data at about 160 bits per second. Information about continuing telemetry exchanges with Voyager 2 is available from Voyager Weekly Reports, 
official NASA map of the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, Voyager 1, and Voyager 2 spacecraft's trajectories through the solar system. NASA map showing trajectories of the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, Voyager 1, and Voyager 2 spacecraft. In 1992, Voyager 2 observed the Nova V1974 Cygni in the far ultraviolet. Heliopause One of the most significant accomplishments of Voyager 2 is its journey through the heliopause, the boundary that marks the end of the heliosphere, the region of space dominated by the sun's influence. In November 2018, Voyager 2 became the second human-made object to cross this boundary, following Voyager 1, which crossed it in 2012. This marked a major milestone in the mission, as Voyager 2 began to explore interstellar space, the region beyond the heliosphere that is dominated by the local interstellar medium. Encounter with Neptune Following a mid-course correction in 1987, Voyager 2's closest approach to Neptune occurred on August 25, 1989. Through repeated computerized test simulations of trajectories through the Neptunian system conducted in advance, flight controllers determined the best way to route Voyager 2 through the Neptune-Triton system. Since the plane of the orbit of Triton is tilted significantly concerning the plane of the ecliptic, through mid-course corrections, Voyager 2 was directed into a path about 4,950 kilometers, 3,080 miles, above the north pole of Neptune. Five hours after Voyager 2 made its closest approach to Neptune, it performed a close flyby of Triton, the larger of Neptune's two originally known moons, passing within about 40,000 kilometers, 25,000 miles. Heliosphere Voyager 2's exploration of the heliosphere, the region of space influenced by the sun's solar wind, has been one of its greatest accomplishments. In 2018, Voyager 2 became the second spacecraft to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind is no longer strong enough to push back the interstellar medium. This milestone marked the first time a spacecraft had directly observed this region of space, which is critical to our understanding of the interstellar environments surrounding our solar system. During its journey through the heliosphere, Voyager 2 made numerous important discoveries. It has measured the strength and direction of magnetic fields in the region, as well as the density and temperature of the solar wind and interstellar medium. As we come to the end of this video, we hope that you've gained a newfound appreciation for the incredible discoveries made by the Voyager spacecrafts. These machines have expanded our understanding of our solar system and beyond, and have paved the way for future space exploration. While there is still much to learn, the Voyager spacecrafts have brought us one step closer to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and until next time, keep looking up.